Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Upgraded Sets. Today we're going to be looking at Tancred's set. Uh, as you can see here, it's quite a visually striking set, although it's never been a particularly good one. It does have some very interesting mechanics, though, about it uh, that we will go over as we uh, talk about this set together. And, uh, of course, since this is called Upgraded Sets, we're going to be upgrading the set and seeing what it could potentially be good for past, um, you know, just simply early game. This set has always been held back by the fact that it has a Tancred's Crowbill. Uh, that is one of the worst things about this set, is the weapon, because unfortunately the weapon holds the entire set back, and uh, if you're going to use this on any character, doesn't matter what it is, um, the weapon becomes a big stumbling block. Um, and uh, we'll talk about this set together, we'll talk about the level of the set, and then we'll upgrade it uh, toward the, uh, you know, the end of the video, and we'll talk about everything together as a whole. So, um, let's start off with Tancred's Crowbill Military Pick. Now, it is uh, 12 to 19 damage, which at level 20 is absolutely terrible. Um, it's very fast attack speed, though, which uh, is because it does have a nice 20% bonus on the set. Uh, without the set bonus, it's only fast attack speed. Um, we do have a uh, requirement of 33 dexterity, 49 strength, and uh, level 20, which um, this, the, the, the requirements are not that bad, but the level requirement is a little high for the amount of damage that it does. It's always been this way. Uh, we do have 80% enhanced damage on this, though, which is actually kind of nice. It will help it when it up, it's upgraded. Uh, 75 to attack rating, which is always nice to have. And then, of course, it also has a two-piece bonus of 20 to mana, and it has a three-piece bonus of 20% increased attack speed. Now, um, I don't really understand why they decided to go with such a low damage weapon, um, especially when you're considering level 20. I feel like at this point, at level 20, uh, 12 to 19 is just not a lot. Um, it does have kind of a high bottom end, 12 to 19, so it's a very nice spread, but it doesn't have a very high top end, which is also part of the issue. Um, if we were to compare this with something else similar around that level, um, let's choose a Nightmare Unique. So we're going to choose a Nightmare Unique, and then uh, we're also going to go to an Axe. So uh, we'll go to Axes, uh, since this is in fact an Axe. And we're going to look at a list of unique Axes real quick. So let's get an idea of what we'd be looking at at level... Um, 20. So let's see here. I've got do, 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 Skull Splitter Military Pick. That's not a good choice. Uh, Blade Bone is level 15. Also not a good choice. So it looks like the only one we're really going to be able to choose here is Rakescar War Axe. And the Rakescar War Axe is um, 31 to 45 at level 26. So for only 6 levels higher than this level, this, this axe is, um, we're gaining a pretty huge boost in damage. I mean, 31 on the bottom end, which is considerably higher than the 12, and 45 on the top end, which is considerably higher than the uh, than the 19. So uh, it's, uh, it's quite terrible, actually. Uh, I don't really see a lot of other good choices here, but I do see some items that honestly are better at a lower level. The Death Spade Axe, for instance, is um, 17 to 18 damage, uh, which is pretty much better than this one at 12 to 19. Um, sorry, 14, 14 to 18, my bad, 14 to 18. So very, very close there, very, very close. Uh, one shy on the top end and higher on the bottom end and only level 9. Uh, which, which begs the question, why exactly is this weapon level 20 when Death Spade Axe is honestly and arguably the better choice at level 9? Um, We'll go through that as we uh, as we look at it, the set some more. I do have a feeling that upgrading this set will provide slightly better use on the weapon, and uh, and this is something that I'm kind of looking forward to. Uh, we also have Tancred's Skull Bone Helm, which is 36 defense, 25 strength requirement, uh, level 20, and it has 10% enhanced damage, which is not really a lot, but it's something. Uh, we also have uh, 40 to attack rating, which I guess combines with the 75 on the weapon, so that's not bad. Uh, it's always nice to have attack rating if you're a physical damage fighter, and the enhanced damage, of course, will help you out. But it's going to work as off-weapon ED, um, and it's going to be very, very tiny. Uh, the amount of damage boost that the helmet is going to give you is not going to be a lot. And it's very difficult for me to show you this, because I'm sure if I take this off, my damage is going to go down 
Uh, not really a whole lot, uh, and it doesn't really work quite, quite well because I'm also getting lightning damage. Uh, but as you can see here, it's 56 to 80, and I go up to 57 to 82. It's, it's a pathetic amount of increase. Um, I think that when they originally had designed the 10% enhanced damage, they thought that it was going to function very similarly to the way that it does on a weapon. 10% enhanced damage on a weapon is far more effective than 10% damage on an off weapon. Uh, this is something that you have to learn about off-weapon and on-weapon ED and how they function differently um, in regards to how they actually increase your damage. Uh, on-weapon ED is exceptionally good, and off-weapon ED is basically the same as a Might Aura. Uh, we also have all resistances 10 on this for two items, which is uh, kind of low. It's very low. All resistances 10 is certainly nice to have, but it's, it's really not a lot. Uh, we also have Tancred's Weird Amulet, and this is one of the best pieces of the set, in my opinion. Um, it is uh, required level 20. Uh, it has magic damage reduced by 2 and magic damage reduced by 1. And when you look at it on its own without the set, it looks like a piece of garbage. I am not going to lie. Uh, but when you put it on with the set bonuses, um, if you put on at least one other piece... Uh, so two pieces in total. What I usually recommend is putting on the boots and the uh, the weapon, but the boots can be notoriously hard to find. Um, so keep that in mind. You will at least get the 78% better chance of magic items, which 78% is a freaking lot, especially considering you can wear these at level 20 and the boots have a nice uh, run-walk on them. So uh, so keep that in mind if you ever pick up, if you're doing like a ladder run or something, you're trying to rush through, you're trying to get magic find as high as you possibly can, as early as you possibly can with garbage equipment. Keep in mind that Tancred's Weird Amulet can be paired up with any of the other pieces for 78% magic find. And, uh, and this is extremely effective. Um, especially if you're just trying to get yourself some gear early game. Trust me when I say that 78% uh, that magic find is a lot for early game. Um, so if you get your hands on Tancred's Hobnail's boots and the amulet, you can do that combo. Uh, you can also do the armor and the amulet. You can do the helmet and the amulet. You can do the weapon and the amulet. It doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever works best for you to get that 78% magic find. But do know that you do need the amulet to get that. Uh, you also get 60 to attack rating from three pieces, uh, which the, the you notice there's a lot of attack rating coming from the set. You got 60 from the amulet, you got 40 from the uh, helmet, which is already 100. You got another uh, 75 from the weapon, which is 175 attack rating so far. Uh, they seem to be kind of focusing on giving you as much attack rating as possible. Uh, we also have the armor, which... Um, the armor is Tancred's Spine, and I don't normally see Tancred's Spine very often. Um, I don't know why, it just doesn't tend to drop very often, but when it does, I'm usually kind of surprised. I'm like, what's that? I was like, oh yeah, I haven't seen that in like two years. Um, and, and I don't know why it doesn't drop very often, but it just doesn't. Um, it's 359 defense, um, and it uh, it doesn't really have much variance on the, uh, the defense itself, except for the, the base roll. Um, it is... Uh, added, though, by the set bonus. So as you can see, it's 161 on the base and 359 in the set. Uh, we have 80 strength requirement on this, and it is level 20 requirement, and uh, we have plus 15 strength, which is definitely very nice, uh, 40 to life, and uh, it does have a two-piece bonus of uh, plus two character level defense uh, per character level, uh, up to 198 defense. So 359 is the maximum that you're ever going to get out of this piece of armor um, in its normal difficulty form. Uh, the 15 strength is certainly nice, but normally strength is what you need to equip armor. So it seems a little odd to put strength on the armor piece. They probably should have put the strength on the boots or the helmet or something. Um, also, the life, the 40 to life is actually a lot at level 20, and will certainly help you out. Um, then we finally have the Tancred's Hobnails boots. Uh, they're a little rare, but if you do find them, I would recommend holding on to them specifically for this purpose. Um, this They are Defense 3, which is absolutely nothing. Uh, no Strength requirement whatsoever. Uh, plus 10 to Dexterity, Heal Stamina plus 25%. Uh, plus 10 to Strength with 3 items, and 30% faster run walk with 2 items. That means that you can very easily, as I was showing you earlier, uh, wear just the Tancred Hobnails boots and the amulet and get yourself 78% magic find and 30% faster run walk with Heal Stamina and some, some Dexterity to boot. Um, it's actually a pretty nice little two-piece combo. And if you're a melee or a ranged character, you also get 15 lightning damage, uh, which will uh, help you out a tiny bit. Now, 
The full set bonus is a little odd. You do get uh, multiple different bonuses here. So let's go over each one individually. Um, so right off the bat, you'll see that you get 15 lightning damage for two pieces. Um, you also get 5% lifesteal for three pieces, which isn't bad. Um, so if you want to throw on a third piece with the magic find, just so you can get the extra lifesteal, it might not be a bad idea. Um, but, you know, chances are it's probably going to be this piece, because this is like the most common piece right here is the stupid helmet. And then the second most common piece is the military pick, both of which tend to be absolutely ignored. Uh, and this is just the existence of... <laughs> And then for uh, four pieces, there's no, no bonus. And then for the full bonus, um, you do get uh, slows target by 35%, which is actually absolutely epic. Uh, slows target by is that effect that literally slows down all monsters uh, by a certain percentage. It's, it is one of the most loved mechanics in the game, shared by Holy Freeze, Clay Golem, Decrepify, um, and of course, multiple pieces of equipment also have this effect. And, uh, and very soon, Impale will also have... Um, slows target by as well. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, we have all resistances 10 on here and 75% uh, extra gold from monsters. Now uh, if we take our character to normal difficulty, let's go to normal difficulty real quick and we'll uh, we'll show off how much resistances this set gives in normal because I think that's its best use case scenario is normal difficulty. And as you can see here I'm rocking 50% and uh, without this set on at all I'm at 30. So this set basically gives me 20 all res, which is not really a lot. Uh, 20 all res is, is actually kind of low, but in normal difficulty, 20 all res can be the difference between life or death. So I guess if you were rocking this with uh, some other pieces, you know, it could be nice. And you guys keep making fun of me for saying the world rocket. I don't care. I don't care. Rock, paper, scissors. John can go. <laughs> So now we're at the portion of the video where we're going to talk about what this set could be uh, useful for. Um, honestly, because it has a weapon in it and because it seems very specifically geared toward a, uh, a melee character, I mean 5% mana steal, 5% life steal, tons of attack rating, slows target by, lightning damage. Um, I mean, it seems to be very specifically pointed at a melee character, which means that it would probably end up getting used by either... A, a paladin, uh, maybe a barbarian. Uh, barbarian in particular could dual wield with this, which would, which would certainly be interesting. Um, I'm also um, kind of interested in the fact that you could rock a death set with this. So you could put death sword here. You could also put uh, the death's sash and the death's gloves. So you could have literally uh, two sets, two complete sets on at the same time, which is rather interesting. Um, I don't know if there's any other sets that can really do this. Uh, most sets have take up one or two of the crucial pieces that would uh, that would completely uh, make this impossible. But you could theoretically run Death Set and Tank Ritz at the same time. So, interesting to think about. Um, I don't think there's any other sets that you could really run together. Um, not that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, you could put uh, Saigon's Belt and Saigon's Gloves on for 30% increased attack speed. Um, you could also run the Shield. So, Saigon's Shield, uh, Belt, and Gloves but that's not the full set. Uh, we're talking about an actual full set, so you could run literally the entire death set with tank grids. It's, it's, uh, it's an interesting little proposition there. Might be something that I'm... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go get death set. I'll be right back. Ha! So here we are. So we can literally put on death set with tank grids. And I think that's really, actually, really awesome. Um, you can get the full 30% increased attack speed, uh, 10 to min damage, 40% bonus to attack rating, lifesteal, all resistances, um, lot, multiple all resistances, by the way. Um, the uh, the cannot be frozen, uh, the cold damage, the lifesteal. I mean, uh, just in general, that's a pretty sweet ability to have two sets on at the same time. Now, uh, what I would like to do next is upgrade these sets, and we're going to talk about uh, what they could possibly be used for. So I think uh, a lot of people are interested to see what this crow bill upgrades to, especially considering how terrible it is, and perhaps it could make this set less terrible, um, considering that you have to have the crow bill on to get the full bonus, and that's one of the biggest downsides of this set. So uh, to do this, we're going to have to put a Rel rune, a Sil rune, and a Perfect Emerald in here, and uh, it is going to go from... You know, let me move myself over so that... 
we can look at this beautifully. So it is going to go from 12 to 19 damage. 33 dex, 49 strength, level 20. To 25 to 61, 70 dexterity, 94 strength, level 25. So the dex and strength did go up quite a bit. That's a little that's a little disappointing. Um, for level 25, that's kind of high. Um, and um, I want to show you guys something because I want you guys to see this. Uh, when you put on a piece of the uh, upgraded equipment with no other pieces of the equipment on, um, there is a special thing that happens. The level requirement does not go up. Um, I actually got into an argument with somebody on, uh, on one of my videos, uh, channel comments for this. Um, I was pointing out that literally when you put the item on without any green bonuses, the level doesn't go up. And it could very well be a bug. Don't get me wrong. But when you have a green bonus, the level goes up. So we go from 25 to 30. Now, whether this is a bug or whether this is a feature is uh, is yet to be found out. But, uh, but I'm sure we will find out when 2.4 launches. Um, so interestingly enough, I do feel like that was a good upgrade. Um, it has brought the damage up to a level that is actually kind of usable for a set that was unusable before. Now, the real issue here, though, is that it is level 30, and 30 is getting into to Nightmare Difficulty, and uh, so we have to question ourselves, is it useful in Nightmare Difficulty? Is that the... Uh, is that, is that going to be useful in Nightmare Difficulty? Because if it is, then the set might actually be useful now. I don't know. We'll see. So let's also upgrade the Bone Helmet, um, which is going to need a Shale, a Tal, and a Perfect Diamond. Now this one is going to go from 36 Defense, 25 Strength, level 20, to 86 Defense, 58 Strength, level 25. And it does go to level 30 when equipped. Uh, we also have the Armor which is uh, Tancred's Spine Pull Plate, which is 161 defense, uh, 80 strength, uh, level 20 requirements, which also requires a shale, a talent, a perfect diamond. And that is going to go from 161, 80, 20, to uh, 321, 140, 25. 140 is really high for level 30. Uh, when you equip it, it goes to level 30. Uh, 140 is really high for level 30, and I don't exactly know if that's going to be worthwhile. But the defense did go up quite a bit um, from the, uh, what was it, 359 uh, when it was equipped to 519. I mean, if you were a character who was specifically building strength, um, you know, because you, you know you're going to need 156 or whatever for a spirit shield later, so you're just getting it out of the way, or maybe you're using a really high strength maul or something, I don't know. Um, whatever it happens to be, if you were a character who was building strength, 140 is not out of the realm of possibility. But that is out of the realm of possibility for most caster classes. So if you, for instance, were using the armor in the amulet, maybe early game to get that 78% magic find, maybe even socketed Tancred Spine and put a perfect uh, Topaz in there to get even more magic find. Um, definitely not a good upgrade. Uh, we also have Tancred's Hobnails Boots. Uh, which can be upgraded, and uh, this one is actually, I think, going to be a good upgrade, especially if you're using these in combination with the Magic Find, because it's going to bump the defense up quite a bit, from 3 probably to like 30-ish, and uh, it's not really going to bump the requirements up very much. So we're going to go from level 3, uh, sorry, defense 3, level 20, to defense 28, 20 strength, and level 24, which goes to level 29 when equipped. Interesting. So not a bad upgrade, in my opinion. Um, that definitely could be something that you'd do, especially if you were using it for the Magic Find early game. Uh, the little bit of extra defense there actually might help you out, uh, especially if you're using you know, things that will multiply that defense, like Shiver Armor, Holy Shield, Iron Skin, Shout, etc. Um, so let's upgrade these one more time, and this is probably going to be a fruitless endeavor, but we're going to give it a try anyway. So Tancred's Crowbill. Tancred's Crowbill Crowbill. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, because it's a military pick when it's normal, right? And and it's called Tancred's Crowbill, but when you upgrade it, it turns from a military pick into a Crowbill, and now it's Tancred's Crowbill Crowbill. That's freaking hilarious. Uh, so you need a lem, sorry, a uh, a pull and a a pull and a what? I'm not a co. Why do I have a co there? I need a lum. Hooey. Bad preparation. There's a pull. 
Don't need a pole. I need a lump. I think I'm blind. Usually if I have a pole, I have a lump. Because they go hand in hand. I use them all the time. There we go. Poly poly lumme. So we're going to go from a 25 to 61. Uh, 70 decks, 94 strength, level 25. To 54 to 86. Not, not the greatest upgrade. Uh, 54 decks, 133 strength. Pretty high on the requirements there. Uh, level 59, which goes to level 71 when equipped. I'm going to be honest with you. Not a good upgrade to Tier 3. Absolutely not. That Tier 2 upgrade, maybe. Might be viable. Um, the Tier 3 upgrade, not at all. Now, Tancred's Grim uh, Skull, Grim Helm, uh, will upgrade with a Lamico and a Perfect Diamond. Um, and this one is going to go from uh, 86 defense, 58 strength requirement, level 25, to uh, 106, 106 strength. That's interesting. 106, 106. Uh, level 63, which upgrades to level 75 when equipped. Um, now, the Bone Visage, definitely not a good upgrade to Tier 3. Maybe not even a good upgrade to Tier 2. Um, all you're getting is defense, and honestly, the, it's not a really good piece of equipment anyway. Uh, the armor, on the other hand, uh, is 321 defense, 140 strength, level 25. And this is going to upgrade to the Shadow Plate, which is 509 defense, 230 strength requirement, and level 64. Definitely not a good upgrade. 230 strength requirement is it, nuts. But it goes to 707 when you equip it. Very, very bad upgrade uh, from Tier 2 to 3. Uh, I'm not even sure about the upgrade from 1 to 2 because the defense really didn't go up that much. And also, the strength requirement went up a lot to 140. And the Tier 3 upgrade goes up to 230 strength, which most characters do not have. That's uh, It's just too high. Um, and the 15 strength on it just kind of mocks you. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, I need 230 strength to wear this, so even if you do put me on, you know, I'm just going to give you, like, 245. <laughs> Um, Tankard's Hobnail Boots. Um, these are giving me the strength I need, literally, to wear the armor. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, these actually might be worth upgrading to tier 3. Uh, they are 28 defense, uh, 20 strength, level 24. And that goes to 59 defense, uh, 50 strength, level 45, which does go to level 57 when equipped. Um... Not really a lot of defense there, but the strength requirement didn't go up very much, and the level requirement didn't go very much. I mean, if you were using these specifically for that magic find bonus, um, this could actually be a pretty strong magic find setup until you can get your hands on a nice 50% uh, more Travs or something like that. Um, not 100% sure, but, you know, 78% is higher than the 50 that the boots will give you. So unless you're rocking 50% boots and, like, a... What it's like a 30% magic find amulet, but it's going to be garbage. Um, you're not going to get higher than that. Um, I mean, that's literally 50% minus 78 is is already what 28, 50, 60, 70, yeah, 28. So you get you get another 28% on top of what the boots would give you. So it's like wearing a pair of war traps and a 28% amulet, and you also get other stats as well. So I mean, if you look at it. Um, you don't just get, you know, the uh, the magic find. You also get 10 dex, heal stamina 25%, 30% faster run walk, 15 lightning damage, damage reduced by 2, magic damage reduced by 1, 78% magic find. Um, it's a nice little two-piece combo, and it's I think it's one of the best things about tank grid set, uh, just in general. Um, I don't uh, I don't think the set itself is really that great, but... Um, but that bonus is very nice, and it's something a lot of people actually don't know about. Um, well, at least you can wear Death Set and Tank Rids together. I mean, Death Set is certainly very nice. I don't know about Tank Rids, but... Well, there's really not a lot more to go on with this set. Um, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory what the pieces could potentially be used for. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, too, which ones were bad upgrades. Um, just in general, I feel like the armor and the helmet were bad upgrades. Um, the weapon to tier two was a decently a good upgrade. Uh, the boots, honestly, all the way up to tier three could certainly be viable if you were using them for magic find for uh, you know, say early ladder or 
Uh, maybe you're doing a solo self-found and you happen to find Tancred's uh, amulet and boots. But, um, hmm. it's interesting. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, even when it's about Tancred's battle gear. And as always, keep watching.